Sugar is everywhere, stirred into coffee, baked into desserts, and used in countless food products. But have you ever wondered how raw sugarcane or sugar beets transform into the pure white crystals on store shelves? The journey from farm to factory is a fascinating process of precision, technology, and efficiency. Massive refineries use advanced machinery to extract, purify, and package sugar on an enormous scale, ensuring quality and consistency. Ready to uncover the secrets behind sugar production? Stick around as we break down each step, from harvesting to packaging. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest updates. Sugarcane thrives in tropical and subtropical regions, necessitating warm temperatures and ample rainfall. Upon reaching maturity, the cane is harvested either manually or using mechanical harvesters, the latter being more efficient and aiding in field preparation for subsequent crops. After harvesting, the cane is promptly transported to nearby mills to prevent sucrose deterioration. At the mill, the stalks are washed to remove impurities, followed by shredding and crushing to extract the sugar-rich juice. This juice is then clarified with lime and heated to destroy enzymes, preparing it for further refining processes. Sugar beets are cultivated in temperate climates with fertile, well-drained soils. Harvesting typically occurs in cooler months, using machinery that removes the leafy tops and lifts the beets from the soil. Once harvested, beets are transported to processing facilities, where they are washed and sliced into thin strips known as cossettes. These cassettes undergo a diffusion process in hot water to extract the sugar content. The resulting raw juice is purified through carbonation or phosphatation, removing impurities. Subsequent evaporation concentrates the juice, leading to crystallization of sugar, which is then separated and dried for consumption. Both processes are integral to global sugar production, ensuring the efficient transformation of raw plant materials into the refined sugar used worldwide. The purification and clarification of extracted sugar juice from sugarcane and sugar beets are crucial steps in sugar production, aimed at removing impurities such as plant fibers, organic matter, and non-sugar compounds. This multi-stage process ensures the production of high-quality sugar. Initially, the raw juice is treated with lime calcium hydroxide, which serves to neutralize acids and facilitate the precipitation of impurities. The lime increases the pH of the juice from its natural acidic level to a neutral pH of around 7.0. This adjustment is critical, as maintaining the correct pH prevents the breakdown of sucrose into glucose and fructose, which can occur if the pH is too low and avoids decomposition of sugars at a pH greater than 11.5. Additionally, the lime treatment aids in eliminating juice colorants and neutralizing organic acids. Following liming, the juice undergoes either carbonation or phosphatization to further purify it. In the carbonation process, carbon dioxide is bubbled through the alkaline sugar solution, precipitating the lime as calcium carbonate, chalk. These chalk particles entrap impurities and absorb others, which are then removed through filtration. Alternatively, in phosphatization, phosphoric acid is added to the juice, forming calcium phosphate precipitates that capture impurities. These precipitates are subsequently skimmed off, resulting in a clearer juice. The treated juice is then subjected to multiple filtration stages to remove solid particles formed during the previous treatments. This process clarifies the liquid by eliminating suspended solids, leading to a purer juice. In some modern facilities, ultrafiltration membranes are employed to enhance purification, reducing the need for chemical additives and improving efficiency. After clarification, the purified juice is concentrated through evaporation. The juice is heated in large evaporators, often comprising multiple stages, to remove water content. This concentration process increases the sugar content of the juice to approximately 65% solids, forming a thick syrup. Careful control of temperature and pressure during evaporation is essential to prevent the decomposition of sugars and ensure quality of the final product. Through these meticulously controlled steps, lime treatment, carbonation or phosphatation, filtration and evaporation, the sugar juice is effectively purified and concentrated, laying the foundation for the subsequent crystallization process that yields refined sugar. The crystallization process is a crucial stage in sugar production, where concentrated syrup is transformed into raw sugar crystals. After the syrup reaches a sugar content of about 60 to 65% through evaporation, it is further boiled in vacuum pans. 
This controlled environment allows the syrup to become super saturated without excessive heat, preventing caramelization and ensuring optimal crystal formation. To initiate crystallization, tiny seed crystals are introduced into the super saturated syrup. These act as nuclei, promoting uniform growth as the syrup continues to boil under vacuum conditions. Careful monitoring of temperature and concentration is essential to achieve evenly sized sugar crystals. Once the crystals reach the desired size, the mixture, known as massacuit, is transferred to centrifuges. Centrifugal force separates the sugar crystals from the remaining liquid, known as molasses. The raw sugar is then washed to remove any residual molasses and centrifuged again to eliminate excess moisture. This results in raw sugar, which is either refined further or used directly, depending on its intended application. Refining raw sugar into high-quality white sugar involves several meticulously controlled steps to eliminate molasses residues and impurities. The process begins with affination, where raw sugar is mixed with a concentrated syrup to soften the molasses coating on the crystals. This mixture, known as magma, is then spun in centrifuges to separate the molasses from the sugar crystals. Following affination, the sugar crystals are dissolved in hot water to create a sugar liquor. This liquor undergoes clarification, typically through carbonation or phosphatation, to precipitate and remove remaining impurities. Next, the clarified liquor is passed through activated carbon filters or ion exchange resins to decolorize and further purify the solution. The purified syrup is then concentrated and subjected to recrystallization in vacuum pans, where pure sugar crystals form. Once the crystals reach the desired size, they are separated from the remaining liquid, known as mother liquor, using centrifuges. The final steps involve drying and cooling the sugar crystals to prevent clumping and ensure the production of refined white sugar suitable for consumption. Refined sugar undergoes strict grading and quality control to meet industry standards. Grading is based on crystal size, color, and purity, with the International Commission for Uniform Methods of Sugar Analysis providing a standardized color scale. Lower ICUMSA values indicate higher purity, such as ICUMSA 45, which denotes highly refined sugar. Advanced optical sensors and sieving machines classify sugar into granulated, powdered, and superfine varieties. Laboratory tests measure moisture content, color consistency, and sucrose purity, ensuring high-quality sugar with a polarization value above 99.7 degrees. Once refined, sugar is packaged using automated, high-speed systems. Bulk packaging serves industrial consumers, offering 50 kilogram and one ton bags, while retail packaging includes smaller consumer-friendly bags, one kilogram, five kilograms, and resealable pouches. Each package is labeled with nutritional details, batch codes, and expiration dates. Sugar is then stored in temperature-controlled warehouses before being transported via trucks, ships, or rail to global markets. The transformation of raw sugarcane or beets into refined sugar is a fascinating journey of precision, innovation, and sustainability. Every step, from harvesting to packaging, ensures the highest quality standards while minimizing environmental impact. Modern sugar factories are constantly evolving, making production more efficient and eco-friendly. If you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more such updates.